Light is everywhere. It's what allows us to see, from the trees that you see outside and to this video that you're watching right now. But have you ever stopped and wondered, what is light? In ancient Greece, it was thought that our eyes produced little invisible probes that brought information about our surroundings. But this didn't explain a lot of things. It took a few thousand years, but eventually scientists concluded that light is made out of particles. This model explained various phenomena, like reflection and refraction. So we can assume that light is a particle, right? Well, it's not that simple. In 1801, Thomas Young conducted the double slit experiment. This red light will go through the two slits on the foil. Now, if light was made out of particles, we'd expect to see two parallel lines on the ball. But when we take a closer look, we see multiple light and dark bands. This is called an interference pattern, and it results from two waves interacting with one another. Using two balls, the interference pattern can be visualized with the interaction of water waves. Where crest meets crest and trough meets trough, the waves are bigger or deeper. But when crests of one wave meets with troughs from the other, the waves cancel each other out. This led scientists to rethink their assumptions about light. In the following decades, experiments showed that the wave model of light could explain a lot of phenomena that the particle model couldn't. So light has to be a wave, right? Well, there's one thing we haven't talked about yet, the photoelectric effect. The wave model of light predicted that all frequencies could charge these glow-in-the-dark snowflakes, and the only difference would come from a higher intensity or amplitude. And yet, that isn't what happened. Despite all of the colors having the same intensity, only the blue and violet ones activated the glow. The photoelectric effect concluded that the wave model of light doesn't explain everything. So if light isn't a particle, and it's not a wave either, what is it? That is what Einstein answered when he proposed that light can be described as discrete packets of energy called quanta. So in a way, light isn't really a wave or a particle, it's both. This is wave-particle duality, and this line of thinking was so revolutionary that it opened up an entirely new field of physics, quantum mechanics. The wave-particle duality of light isn't where the weirdness of quantum mechanics stops. Louis de Broglie even proposed that everything, including you and me, exhibits a dual nature. In fact, the field is anchored on the wave-particle duality of matter. It's hard to wrap your mind around, but the math checks out. The rules of quantum mechanics are different and counterintuitive, and there are still so many mysteries, it almost feels overwhelming. But take a look back at our history and you'll see we've come a long way since we thought that light was a bunch of little probes our eyes produced. And in science and research, there is no other way but to move forward towards the light of our bright future.